Hey friends! In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do these cute hair bows for your curly haired cutie. So friends, first I wanted to show you what it looks like, what the section looks like where I got this material from. See, this is Michael's and these are only $1.99 at Michael's and you see they're square, they're folded up in squares. And then this is Walmart. Just wanted to show you they have different kinds as well. I think these these ones are like $3.27, so Michael's is a bit cheaper. So first I just gave it a quick iron because it's all folded up, so it needed one. I'm just gonna take the measuring tape and I'm just gonna measure out 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and then just cut it out. And what I love about this is you can make it as big or as tiny as you want. And I I can never find like a huge bow, you know, with curly hair girls, sometimes you can't really see those little bows in all their curls. So I love that you can make a big bow to, you know, that can shine with her curls. Now I'm just gonna sew three sides of the squares and I'm taking the pattern pieces that are gonna be showing on the outside. I'm putting them on top of each other and I'm gonna be sewing it inside out basically. So in case you're wondering, I'm making this one for Sakura, the big one, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and I'm gonna have the pink part facing out because she loves pink. And then I'm gonna make Safari one in between 10 and 15 centimeters and she's gonna have the purple side facing out. I thought it'd be cute just to have, you know, kind of the similar hair bows. So my friends, I seen this at Walmart and I was like, oh my goodness, this is for all my friends who do not like to sew or don't have a sewing machine and wanna create these bows. You can totally pick this up at Walmart. I am actually gonna be using glue for the fourth part so you can check that out here. I'm not too sure how well this glue works but hey if you use this and uh, leave a comment below for us who want to know so as you can see I flipped it inside out and I just took a pen lid just to get those corners so that they're nice and pointy then you're just gonna want to grab some tissue paper you know the tissue paper that you put into gifts and you just want to cut it into a smaller square than your material is and stick it in there. I put about six sheets and this is gonna help it stay up. And now for that last open square, I'm just gonna fold the ends inside and then I'm going to take my iron and iron it down. And now I'm just gonna glue the fourth square closed. So I ended up using this glue, it's the called Julet. I got this from Michaels a long time ago and I honestly thought that this was fabric glue. So that's why I didn't even purchase any because I'm like, hey, I got some fabric glue at home. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to use that. So I use this. It actually works pretty good, but it does, it does get really hard. And I'm not sure if that speed sew does the same thing, but it's actually not that bad because I feel like it also helps hold up the bow. So it's all right. And I just left it for about a half an hour to dry. So for this part, I just took a piece of fabric and I cut it like five centimeters wide and I think about 10 centimeters long, something like that. You don't need to, it to be too long. And I just folded it in half and then now I am just sewing that open part together. So friends, I should mention that I am not a professional sewer. I don't sew on a regular basis. <laughs> I like to sew and I'm still in the process of learning, but that's about it. So I'm not an expert. If I'm doing something wrong, then yeah, that's why. So I forgot to mention that I sewed that outside in and now after I've sewed it, you wanna flip it inside out. So the best way that I found that worked for me was the pen like this was a uh, work like a charm. So friends, I wanted to show you that I glued it a little bit too far in. I just needed to make that fold a little bit smaller so it's not taking up too much of that material because all that material is all glued together now. And as you can see, I just pinched that square together and I'm taking that loop and I'm just going to place that loop over it. But actually first I'm gonna get the headband part and you can use a headband or you can use some hair clips that you can find like at a craft store. I tried to look for hair clips. I couldn't find them at Walmart or Michaels. And I couldn't even find these headband pieces at either place. I found them at the dollar store, which was great. So yeah, you, I don't know where else you can get them, but then I just sewed that together. 
And I ended up afterwards sewing it with my hand, like hand sewing it, even though I hate hand sewing, but I sewed it by hand because I wanted to make it tight and it's so hard to do on the sewing machine. But as you can see, once you sew that on, you wanna flip that over, that uh, loop over, so it's on the nicer side. So there you have it, friends. Uh, amazing, cute bow for your daughters. Like, I absolutely love the fact that I can make a bigger bow. Ah! Anyways, friends, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe to us for more hair tutorials. We love you, friends. Bye.